Welcome back to RD Cloud Compute. In this video, I will cover how to create a Microsoft HPC 2019 high availability cluster with two HPC head node servers. So in this, I have a two servers as HPC 01 and HPC 02 for head nodes and they have two network interfaces. One is connected to the enterprise network or the public network and another one is connected to the private network. So we need a SQL server. So it, 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 it should be a SQL server 20 and uh, uh, 17 and above. So I'm going to use the SQL server 2019 install on a, uh, a remote server uh, named SQL 01. So um, all the servers are domain joined, the domain, uh, uh, the domain name rdcc.local. So let's start with the installation. So I, I already ha already have a SQL install on the server. So I'm just start with the server installation. So let's log into the HPC 01. So I already have the new latest HPC software downloaded and extracted onto both the systems, both the servers. So let's start the setup. So new installation, yes, next, accept, next. So I'm gonna use the create new cluster, HPC cluster by creating head node, yes, next. So this is the built-in high, uh, high availability architecture I'm gonna use for this one, next. So all tests completed and paused. So next, the cluster name, let me HPC cluster. Next, the affinity, I will leave with the default recommended. Uh, so yeah, so I don't, uh, I, we want to use, you, have, you don't have a local SQL option because it is a two node um, SQL server act, acts as the witness server for the cluster. So it, you don't have option to use a SQL one, you have to use the remote server. Next, click next. So the my SQL server instance name, it's SQL01. Slash the instance name is HPC. Okay, I want to use the window, Windows authentication. Yes. Next. Database could not be accessed into the database is created, already created. So we haven't created a database. Let's go back to the SQL server and create the database. It, the HPC package comes with it. SQL uh, script uh, which creates a database in the back end. Let's yep, the extraction completed. Let's go to the setup folder. So in this you can see the HPC setup HPC database HPC setup HPC database. Let's edit. Okay. So I'm gonna run this script. So it's asking for a SQL instance name, SQL01 slash HPC. Yes, the setup user. I have a user called HPC admin created in Active Directory. Let me use that account. And the head node name, HPC01. And the second node name, HPC02. I don't have a third node. Let's Okay, it's created a database and set up. HPC01 is not a valid login for, or you do not have a permission. Uh, what is this? So let's check the database SQL server. Let's 
connect again so databases so all the databases are created so I'm gonna ignore this error message I'll go back to the HPC installation Okay, let's give it a try again. Uh, we've got the next moved into the next one. So this click next, yeah, next, next. So monitoring database, HA storage, witness. Yep, all the databases are detected. So I'm gonna leave the default path. So browse. So I already have a data uh, certificate. If you on a certificate, create a certificate from your uh, uh, cert uh, Active Directory certificate server. You can create a certificate from then and then import here. So import the PFX file. If you don't have a CA, then if you want to use a self-signed certificate, you can click create here. It creates a self-signed certificate. Okay, it is created and imported system. I'm going to click next so the HPC cluster needs a network file share um, uh, you can create this is on a separate system or you can use the share created from the head node uh, itself so I'm going to leave uh, use the head node file share so click next you have chosen to use a create on this one this is not recommended plan for company high old HPC cluster yes uh, yeah so for a production system it has to you have to create a dedicated file share from a different third node or um, but it's just a lab system so I'm going to use with the default uh, uh, the HPC node share so I don't have an Azure subscription so I'm going to click next so yeah this will install the HPC now Yep, the cluster installation is completed. The connection string for the cluster is HPC01. So let's start the cluster manager. Finish. It automatically starts the HP cluster manager. Let's wait for. Here you go. It's the HP cluster. So required deployment tasks are incomplete. Let's configure the network. So all nodes on enterprise and private network, I have a two network configured. So I'm going to use this topology to click next. So my enterprise network and click next. And this is my private network. Yeah, that's correct and i don't want to use a dhcp scope created on the i don't want to create a dhcp scope on the head node so i will use a different dhcp server for this i'm and i'm not going to uh, uh, planning to use the nat so i'm just proceed with this one next okay i don't want to change any firewall settings so just not change manage firewall settings i will do it next yeah that's fine configure it yep the network setup completed no errors let's finish so provide installation credentials so i'm going to use the create hpc admin account which i created hpc admin the user rdcc hpc admin is not a cluster user yet do you want to make rdcc hpc admin as a Cluster user, yes, please. Yep, and the node namings. So, this is the 
automated naming pattern for the nodes that will be joined automatically i will leave it to the default name okay that's it we are in we got the cluster created the network node templates so resource management the nodes we have one node that is offline node health okay okay bring it online okay let's go back and to the node 02 and add the node let's go back to 02 yep yeah. so i'm gonna run the setup from hpc 02 now the second node So this time we add, uh, we're going to add, click on the add new head node to the existing HPC cluster. Click next. I accept the license agreement. All tests passed. Click next. The connection string for the existing HPC cluster. So this is my cluster, cluster connection string for the cluster. So click next. Yep. Um, again, I'm going to leave the HPC installation to the default path in the C drive. Click Next. Certificate. Browse. Okay. Or if you want to import the certificate, just put. So just make sure same certificate on all the head nodes if you are creating a cluster. The head nodes. Okay next this is different from certificate if specify and make sure okay import <clears throat> let's go back to hpc01 and export that certificate where is hpc01 okay Okay, some reason I have a two certificates. So I have all the old one, which I, I'm gonna use this latest one. So just export this. Next, yes, I want to export the private key, and I want it in the P PFX. Next, the password for the PFX. Okay, next the file name. I just save it in the desktop. HPC dot PFX. Save. Next. Finish. Export it successfully. Let's copy this to the house. Okay. Let's copy this to HPC02. Okay, we got the certificate now. Let's go back to HPC02. Yep. Let's import PFX, the password. Okay, import. Yep, now you got the different certificate. Click next. All good. Let's install.
yep the installation completed successfully now the connection string is this is the new connection strings okay let's finish and start the cluster manager yes let's see the node status we have a two nodes one is still provisioning hpc02 is still in provisioning and transitional okay let's wait for it to come back so let's look at the properties of hpc01 node will not run any jobs or services yes that's fine no failures the properties yeah cpu blah, blah, blah. network gpu information i don't have a gpu that's fine yes both nodes are healthy and active let's bring them on let's try to bring them online let's bring online yes both of the nodes are online okay all nodes are healthy and online yeah no errors no issues okay that's all for this video we'll cover the remaining HPC related topics in a different video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.